Section 6.3, example 4. Solve ln of x equals ln of x plus 1 minus ln of 5. So I can use the one-to-one -one property again here. Um, I just have to make sure there's only one ln on both sides. So we can use the property um, when the logs are equal. So I went over last time log base 2 of x equals log base 2 of y implies x equals y. So same thing here, as long as I only have one log on each side. So I'm going to combine the logs on the left, and we can use that property. So we have ln of x. We're going to leave the, right side the left side alone. On the right side, um, we'll use the property. Since it's subtraction, it becomes ln of x plus 1 divided by 5 when I combine them. And now we can use that one-to-one -one property, because I have ln on both sides. So I have ln, a single ln on both sides, and so the one-to-one -one property tells me the inner functions equal each other. So x is equal to x plus 1 over 5. And now we just have a linear equation. I'll multiply both sides by 5, by 5. 5x equals x plus 1. And then we'll go ahead and subtract x. So 4x equals 1. And we get x equals 1 fourth. And if you have a calculator, you could check your work because we can't do ln so well on our own. Um, but if you did ln of 1 fourth, for the left side, there, um, we get about negative 1.386, just checking our work so the number doesn't matter too much. And then ln of 1 fourth plus 1 minus ln of 5. I always like to check in the original because you never know where you made the mistake. And hopefully we get the same answer. Yep, and I get the same thing negative 1.386. So it's always good to check your answer. Let's try another equation with logs. So this one's a little harder to check our answer because our cal most calculators don't have log base 2, um, but I'll show you how I would check that anyway once we're done. So log base 2 of x squared minus 5 equals log base 2 of x plus 1. So we already have single logs, so we can immediately use the one-to-one -one property. We have the same base on both sides. So we now know that x squared minus 5 equals x plus 1. And since we have x squared, we have a quadratic equation. So I'm going to move everything to the left side, and we'll solve. So minus x minus x minus 1 minus 1. So that'll make the left side 0. So x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. So quadratic equation works. I'm going to factor because it's more efficient. So when I factor, I get x minus 3, and I get x plus 2 equals 0. Minus 3 plus 2 adds up to negative 1 and multiplies to negative 6. So that tells me we get x minus 3 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. So x equals 3 or x equals negative 2. So we have two solutions. There's a minor issue here and let's see what happens. So let's check our work. So I'm going to plug into the original equation. So log base 2 of 3 squared minus 5, does it equal log base 2 of 3 plus 1? So we get log base 2, and then we get 9 minus 5 or 4, and then we get log base 2 of 4. So yeah, looks good. Our calculator won't find it, but both sides are the same. Let's see what happens with negative 2. So log base 2 of negative 2 squared minus 5, and then does it equal log base 2 of negative 2 plus 1? 
Just again, plugging into the original equation. So we get log base two of, what do we get? We get four minus five, so negative one. Log base two of negative two plus one, which is negative one. So they're equal to each other, but what's the issue? Um, we learned that negative numbers are not in the domain of logs. So this is not in the domain. So this solution, although they match, it doesn't work, and it's called an extraneous solution. So when solving logarithmic equations, it's possible to get an extraneous solution. These are solutions that emerge in the process of solving. So it is true that x squared minus 5 equals x plus 1, um, but that's no longer in the domain of logs. So it's in the process of solving, but doesn't work in the original equation. And so this happens with logs because the domain is only positive numbers. So it's super, super important that you go back and check your answers. So x equals negative 2 is actually not a solution. So the only solution is x equals 3. And as long as you get in the habit of checking your answers, you will always find them. But if you forget to check, you might make that mistake.